everyone, Neil Carlson here at the University of North Dakota Grand Forks with a new voice of UND <laughs> uh, taking Peter Johnson's job, Brandon Beyer. Yes, yes. So, you've been busy? I have been busy, yeah. Uh, Peter is now down to quarter time now, so a lot of the day-to-day -day responsibilities are on me. Um, not not entirely taken over Peter, so we still give him that quarter time. I, I tell him to save a few hours every week just in case uh, something hits. <laughs> so you can tell Grand Forks is jumping. We got thousands of students coming back. Classes start when? Uh, they start officially at 4 p.m. today, so most students probably aren't going to have classes until tomorrow, yeah. uh, and that's the first full day of classes. But there are some students, you know, they'll have an evening class tonight, so it's pretty okay. exciting. So any idea what enrollment uh, numbers are looking like yet this year? So we'll be issuing our enrollment numbers on Thursday. We kind of wait until students okay. start going to classes until we have that finalized number. Uh, and then we have, you know, that, that definitive number come the later half of this week. So that's when we're officially rolling it out. I think that'll be probably in a UND Today story is we'll start to highlight okay. some of those statistics. Uh, off the top of my head, it was somewhere around 15,000 last year. Or I yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about the exact numbers. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't pinpoint yeah. that. And anyway, uh, looking at the schedule, it looks like there's a lot of, uh, is there more orientation things as for buildings and classes and things for students to, that are that are new to campus nowadays? Well, it's an exciting time because, as you know, over the past year, we've had a lot of changes as to the infrastructures mm -hmm. of our buildings. So we've had seven buildings that have been raised this summer. Uh, and we're having a lot of different departments that are uh, moving and shifting around the campus. So like the old medical school building, which is now mm -hmm. uh, Columbia Hall, that houses a lot of arts and sciences uh, okay. departments now. So even the faculty are starting right. to get acclimated to these new areas as well. So it's exciting for not only new students, but old students who are going into new buildings now and faculty as well. Okay. Uh, the school, well, I guess I'm not beyond your tenure but had to go through a lot of cuts last year things uh, shifted moving around uh, yep. but uh, it looks like things are off to a good start everybody knows where they have to be and yeah. what they have to work with yeah yeah and I was on the student side at that time so last year I served as student body president so it's kind of been an interesting switch to go from representing the student body mm -hmm. to uh, now being part of UND administration and faculty and staff and seeing it from that side as well so uh, it's been an interesting few years yeah. it's it's been a uh, a great learning process if you've been a part of it uh, but over the past year yeah there has been uh, cuts and now we're just kind of getting back into the normalcy we're in that new budget season now so oh, I apologize for that everybody's phone wants to ring all yeah. the time okay. we're all hooked up. <laughs> and if it was anybody else I would probably not take it but since it's Mark I'm, I'm okay I'm well, sorry. Leave you alone. I'm sorry all right uh, uh, he's got he's got to take a call from the president there so that one he's got to pick up all right uh, from the University of North Dakota campus in Grand Forks, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.